Boy, howdy. It's, uh... It's been a little while. I, I haven't played this game in a while. Look, okay? I've, I've been busy. I've been busy. I did say there was gonna be a, a bit of a hiatus for any sort of regular uploads on the... On this channel, because, you know, I was gonna be busy. And... Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna take this. I... The lesser me would have re-rolled, but I just, I'm just gonna take this. What, what's... What's the reason? Well, okay, so I... Last video went up, like, sometime in August, right? Middle of August. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to Gamescom next week, which was true. So, like, I... Last video went up, I spent some time studying, because I was gonna have an exam soon after Gamescom as well. And I went to Gamescom, spent, like, you know, half a week in Cologne, meeting some friends and going to Gamescom and shit like that. Got tired of Gamescom after, like, two days, because it's just exhausting, and uh, I don't like waiting in line for eight hours just to play a single game, so, you know. I, I might talk about that at some point, don't worry about it. Got back home, spent two more days studying, had an exam at 8 in the morning, which I think I nailed. I think that one went pretty well. Then had to go into review for the first exam I had a couple of weeks before that. If you remember me talking about that one, where I wasn't feeling as confident. Turns out I didn't pass, so I had to go into the review to squeeze another extra couple of points out of it. So I would pass instead, which was nice at least that I managed to accomplish that, right? Managed to get get through it in the end and get a passing grade in some capacity, which is nice, I suppose. It took a little bit, but we got there. And then, like, two days after that, my brother came over from Japan to visit for, like, a weekend, so that would have kept me busy for a few days. And then, now this past week, even though he went home a week ago, I've been busy with working on stuff that he's, uh, thrust upon me with his project that he want wanted help for, and I'm like, you know what, I got nothing better to do anyway. It's not like I got a job, it's not like uni is doing anything at this point, I'm off uni for a month or something, I might as well help you out with your project, right? Which means I've been running fucking Python scripts in the background of my PC for the past four days in a row, formatting spreadsheets and shit like that. Uh, it's fun. I'm still running it right now as we speak, so if the recording picks up at any point, you know exactly why. And then beyond that, any gaming time I've allocated was just spent playing a little bit of Elden Ring Randomizer now that it's finally updated and compatible fully with the DLC. You know, this is a good item, but I also do think I could re-roll in here. It's not a downgrade per se. Unfortunately, there's no charge for sale in here, huh? There's a charge beggar, but there's no way five cents are giving me a full charge, right? There's no shot. It would have been so funny if you paid it with like a full battery or something like that. <laughs> yeah, there's no shot. Uh, let's open this door. Maybe there's shit ton of money in here. Okay. I'll just take the one up. It's okay. I'll, I, I played my hand. I didn't quite get what I wanted, but that's fine. So yeah, I've been I've been busy with that for the past few days now, and you know it's been it's been that. It's been fun. I've, I've been having a great time. I'm gonna be busy with that for a while longer as well. But yeah, I've just been busy with stuff, you know? And don't expect this to be a return to the daily uploads either. I, uh, or like, daily. I mean, they weren't daily anyway, they were, you know, bi-daily. Every other day. I don't know what you would count. I, I, I think I would call that bi-daily. Every other day. Whatever you want to call it. Um, just because I'm, I'm still busy with stuff, right? I want to get the video project for the main channel done. Now that I've got some free time from uni, at least. Should be able to do that. I have been recording the Elden Ring Randomizer playthrough. I think I'm actually going to turn it into a video this time around because a lot of fun stuff has happened. Um, and I got other games I want to play too. I don't know, that goes my deal chances, but you know what? I was ready for that. Uh, got other games I want to play too, you know? There's, there's a bunch of good games that have come out this year. A few of which I've gotten my hands on recently, so I, I'd love to check those out. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll put that up on the channel as well at some point if I find the time. It's been a while since I've just played, like, single-player games and stuff by myself, but you know what? I, I, it's always time for a return to form, I suppose. You know what? I might as well check this cursor. Maybe there's something good in here. Like a dead cat? Okay. Interesting. Curious. The Sigil of Baphomet is also an incredible trinket, I gotta say. Can't complain about that. What I can complain about is my distinctive lack of keys. Thankfully, there's one right here. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, okay, all right. I'm just gonna do this boss hitless. Um, easier said than done, but it is Wormwood, so it shouldn't be too tough. And then even if I don't do it hitless, I can just come back another 10 times, right? So it's not really that big of a deal. Other than that, how are you holding up? How's, how's the end of summer treating you? My birthday was yesterday when I'm recording this. 
Uh, it's the seventh when I'm recording this. Obviously, that's not when the video goes up, but you know what I mean. Birthday was yesterday. Nothing special. I just hung out at home, having a having a great old time, chilling. I am getting old, you know. I'm 26. Uh, you don't go out to celebrate your birthday anymore at that point. I'm in awe. I still got a deal, by the way. Uh, do I want to check it though? Ah, I'm going angel deals, right? We're going angel deals. Of course, we're going angel deals. Down we go. Consider yourself blessed you even got the deal in the first place, man. That was not likely. <clears throat> that was not a very likely outcome, so I'm happy with it. Pardon me. I have this thing where whenever I've eaten for the next, like, half hour, my throat is just... ...sore for some reason. <clears throat> Which is why I gotta clear my throat every once in a while. And I do be needing some HP. I, I had to resist every instinct in my body to reroll there, because normally I would've. But I do be lacking HP right now. At least a little bit, you know? I think it's fair. Yeah, I don't know why I have this. Apparently, I've realized that many people have this apparently, where like after eating for like a little bit, your throat is just kind of kind of sore for some reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I eat too fast or something. I don't know, man. Some people get like a stuffy nose when they eat, even if it's not spicy food, you know, like, whatever it is. Whatever it may be. So yeah, you can tell I've just had dinner like <laughs> 20 minutes ago, <laughs> basically. But yeah, you know, I enjoyed the summer. Cologne was great, dude. Cologne itself, a beautiful city, honestly. Wonderful city, lots of great sightseeing we got to do. Um, the, the cathedral is beautiful, you know, all that sort of stuff. I went to the zoo. Apparently, whenever I travel anywhere nowadays, I just go to a zoo. I don't know, it's just kind of become like a staple for some reason. Don't really know why, but I guess I like animals or something. <laughs> <clears throat> like looking at exotic animals in a, in a cage, you know, something about it just uh, brings me joy and fascinates me or something. Botanical Garden, you know, it was, it's a nice city. It's, it's a beautiful city, honestly. Yeah, you know, I'll take some money. I haven't been rerolling much at all, but I got this D6 for, man. I haven't been using it at all. I rerolled once in a secret room and it arguably downgraded the item. What, what, what am I doing here, man? But yeah, Gamescom was also, I mean, it, it was fine on the on the Thursday. To be fair, it was fine on the Thursday. That's the first day we went there. Because it wasn't as busy. It was still pretty busy, but it wasn't that bad. Wait in line for a couple hours, got to play some Enfield, which was pretty nice. Um, then, you know, we just kind of... Look, uh, look we got to look at some other things as well. And then on Friday, it was just hellish. It was, it was awful. Ended up spending, you know... Just an hour waiting out- like, we arrived before it even opened, and we still spent like an hour waiting outside before they even let us in to the venue. Which, like, that's how crazy it was on Friday. And it wasn't even the busiest day yet. We originally planned to go on Saturday as well, but I at least opposed the idea, and I was like, I'm kinda done. I kinda don't wanna do it anymore. And I mean, both of my friends agreed, and they were like, yeah, it was kinda busy. They didn't really wanna walk around and stand in line for hours every day again, right? Or like, all day again, much rather, so... For Saturday, we vetoed it. We just went to just hang out in Cologne again. Spent some time in a park and shit. It was fun as well. But yeah, like, you know, it was fun. Like, I bought some merch, got some, got some shirts and shit like that. I got to play like a game that I actually wanted to check out. And uh, that's all I really came there for. It was cool, right? That's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> but yeah, you know, place is way too busy. I don't know. Maybe I'm not made for cons. Like, I... I, I've gone to cons, and I've usually enjoyed myself, but at the same time, if they're too busy, I'm kind of like, oh, I hate it here, right? Like, I, I'm not super antisocial, but I'm also not super social of a person, right? Like, spending a long time in big crowds and, like, socializing and shit is draining for me after a while, right? Especially when it's, like, fucking a million people walking through the same building and none of them can walk in straight lines and stuff. And I don't even necessarily blame them for this because you're at a convention, there's booths either side, you're looking at stuff, you're oogling, you know, oh, there's a pretty cosplayer that just walked by. I get it, right? I get it. That's how it goes. That's how conventions work. But it is exhausting nonetheless, right? Even if you're a cog in the machine, even if you're a part of the problem, you're also somebody who's <clears throat> walking at snail's pace through like the artist alley to look at all the cool designs they've got for sale or something like that. At the end of the day, you're a part of the problem, but it still is exhausting nonetheless. And, you know, I'll take this, whatever, I'll reroll the other boss item. Let's go, dude. So, you know, yeah, it was exhausting and I was, I, I quit out early, basically. I was like, I'm done with this, okay, I guess more HP is what we're getting here. I'm also completely out of keys and bombs. I just... 
I just got none. All right. Sure, moving on. So that's my Gamescom experience. Cologne, great city. Will I ever go back to Gamescom again? I don't know. If somebody wants to go with me, like somebody invites me to go, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why, why not, right? Got some experience now. I'll know to bring a folding chair next time. <laughs> so you can sit down when you're waiting in line to play, you know, 30 minutes of a AAA game that's coming out in like eight months anyway, or something like that. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fun to get to play the games early, but yeah, it's uh, it's always a double-ish thing as well, having to wait that long. <clears throat> Beyond that, though, I mean, got to spend some time with my brother last week. It was pretty fun. Got me on board with one of his projects that he's working on. Basically just needs free or cheap labor, which <laughs> I'm, I guess that's what I am now. Although he also did realize that I have a strong PC capable of uh, training AI models because it's got a 4080 in it. So you know what? I was like, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His work is AI related. No, it's not the generative AI kind. So don't worry about that. Yeah, I knew that was happening. Saw that one come from a mile away. But yeah, you know, that's uh, it's just been a, a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on lately. Lots of stuff going on. Oh yeah, I read Dandadan. True, I did do that. I, I, I did catch up on reading Dandadan. I was gonna watch the show, because I know that's airing kind of soon. And I know all my friends have been glazing it, like, oh, this manga is very good. And I was like, you know what, sure, I got some free time now. In between just, like, working for my brother. Got nothing else to do in the afternoons while my PC is just going away. Dishing out heat, adding, acting as a space heater while trying to convert uh, terabytes upon terabytes of spreadsheets. But, you know, I try to format them. But, you know, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a good manga, man. It's peak. It's it's fucking good. You know, it's a it's a good it's a good story. If you got me reading that shit, uh, like it's 150 fucking chapters, 20 pages each, right? And I I read that shit in like, yeah, sure, I read that shit in like four days. <laughs> like that's a, that's a good that's a good story, man. It was very good. Had me invested, man. I'm invested. I'm loving it. It's good. Good art. And that's, you know, like. Some some story beats are not all that, but the action's obviously good. It's a shonen, like, what do you expect, right? Some of the story's a bit strange, but that's fine. The, the strange aspects aren't all that encompassing, so... It's acceptable, I would say, and uh, it's gonna probably rule when in animated form. Anyway, please be a normal big- fuck you, okay, I mean, you can still pay out with an item, though. I've got hearts for days. That's a great trinket as well, holy fuck. Probably want to take that over Sigil of Baphomet, to be honest. It might be a good pickup. I'm not sure yet. Let's check the shop as well. I got money, right? <clears throat> of course, of course. What I expect, honestly. What was I thinking? <laughs> what would there possibly be here? If not greed, naturally. The first shop I can go to in a while and uh, it's got greed in it. At least I got a bomb, which means I can go in uh, here. More HP? Well, at least this one comes with a lucka. So you know what? I'll take that one instead. But you know, it's a good manga when I was like sitting there reading that shit and I was like, you know... <laughs> Cheering them on and shit. I was like, yeah, dude. I don't know. Maybe I get too invested in stories sometimes. Like, I, I it's weird because, like, I don't know. Like, when, I, when I'm actually actively going on my way to experience a story, be that through a movie, TV show, reading a manga, or even reading a book, however rarely that may happen in my day-to-day my -day life nowadays. That's just a good item. I can't even re-roll that, man. That's just good. That's just good. I can't re-roll that. I, I get really invested when I actually care about the story. But then when I play a video game, even if it has a good story, I, I never get that invested. You know, I'm always like, ah, the story's secondary, whatever. I just brush it aside, right? It's kind of weird like that. I feel like when I'm playing a game, you know, the most important thing is just, oh, I want to get the, um... I want to just get the, uh... Get the gameplay aspect of it. I don't care much about having to think. I don't want to watch, like, a movie while I'm playing. I don't know, it's a bit weird like that. I guess it might depend on the game, obviously. But it is a curious thing. I love seeing this. Absolutely wonderful. More tier 8 always goes a long way. And again, no fucking bombs or keys. At all. Just, just nothing. What about these pills? Tears up, locked down. Fine by me. I can see forever. Okay. What do we got? Ugh. Sure, maybe it pays out. I could get an item in here, or it doesn't, which is also fine. I mean... Uh... Who am I to judge, right? Who am I to judge? At least I got cash for days. <laughs> Can't go alt path though. That's just not happening. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've gone to the depths. So I guess that's what we're doing today. <laughs> that's how it be. It was kind of funny though. When my brother came to me, proposed to me, you know, like, oh, can you help me with my project? I I'd really like to get some, some extra help for this stuff. You know, obviously I knew he was going to be like, I I'll pay you, right? But instead of actually paying me money, which, to be fair, I don't necessarily mind, mind you, right? Like, I agree to it, obviously, so I don't mind, I accept the terms. He was like, oh, I can get you, like, a new keyboard. 
Like, I recently got a new keyboard from Keychron, and uh, they're pretty great, and you can, like, customize them and stuff, and he was, like, glazing his keyboard and was like, oh, yeah, this is great. And I, you know, I'm like, yeah, I've heard of them before. They make good keyboards, I'm sure. And then, like, he walked me through, like, oh, yeah, like, these are these are great and stuff. Like, oh, he's all, like, different keycap profiles you can get and stuff. <laughs> and then, like, at the all end of it, he's, he's always trying to be a little coy around it, right? He's always trying to be a little... A little special around it, I guess. He was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get you one of these uh, if you help me with my project work. And I'm like, you know what, sure. I got nothing else to do anyway. I have been wanting to get a new keyboard for like a year now. My old one works fine for the most part. It's got barely any issues. I cleaned it recently and it's as good as new, right? But it is eight years old. And it's starting to show that age a little bit, just a tad. So, you know, I, I don't mind getting a new one. It's, it's fine. It's fine by me. Um, <laughs> but... He was trying to be so coy about it, like, oh, yeah, if you, if you help me with this, I'll pay you with new keyboard and stuff. And obviously, you know, I'm assuming there's who knows what else in there, if, uh, if my heart ever desires it, right? That's the worst planetarium item. Mars is, uh, the second worst, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, good thing I got, uh, charges for days probably available on this floor, so I'll just find something else to, uh, talk to her with it, uh... I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, by the way, it just slipped out. As a library too, man, I need keys. This run has been a distinct lack of keys the entire way to, the entire way through. It's kind of sad, almost. At least I've got another charge, though. I forgot about pay to win, man. They're curious, huh? I should have taken pay to win, but also, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, wow, I can actually go to my damn item room. Because I was gonna say, there's no way I can go to my item room anyway, considering I'm not getting any damn keys. But yeah, so what I'm saying is I guess once I'm done with all the stuff he wants me to do, <clears throat> like, aka, like, you know, format data, train a new model, and uh, figure out some WebSocket stuff for him that he wanted me to do. Sure, I'll take a sharp look. Uh, I guess I'm getting myself a new keyboard. <laughs> in, in a weird, in a weird sixth sense. You know, you don't, you know damn well. Don't tell him this. I don't think he'll know. There's no way he's gonna watch this. Uh... You know damn well I'm trying to go for the most expensive configuration possible, though. <laughs> Alright, he's paying for it, you know? I'm, uh... You gotta use that. Not abuse it, but you gotta use that when you get the chance, you know? Might as well get this in. What's this pill? Wow. Great. I... I feel lucky. You know what? It's technically lower rarity than Mercurius. I actually like Saturnus, though. I think it's a good item. The extra damage from the tears is pretty nice. You know what? I'm gonna pop Strength Court because I want this guy dead. I want this twink obliterated. <laughs> okay, look, it's just that easy. Hey, we got our angel deal. Yeah, I should have probably saved the charge for this, but you know what? Genesis is a fascinating offer, honestly. I got one bomb. I gotta make it count. I guess I'll have to blow up both angels with one. It's a bit of a bummer, but you know what? They killed each other, so... And more importantly, the most annoying one died first. Considering I'm getting the D6 back anyway for Genesis, fuck it, right? Might as well. Any other items to pick up on this floor? I guess I'll just grab this. It's gonna get rerolled anyway. Uh, gotten a key, so I might as well check what's in here. And, uh, send it, dude. Send that shit. A planetarium item straight away. That's, that's right off the bat. And, brother, we got Neptunus available. Ain't that beautiful? I mean, so is Terra, mind you. Luna's also not bad. But you know we gotta take Neptunus. It's been a while since I've had this. That's the spin down dice. Okay, so much for the D6. <laughs> so much for the D6. That's not seeing the light of day anymore. Uh, that's two away from a magic mush. I mean, I could get that. And I probably should. That's just kind of worth it, right? Triple shot, huh? Well, I have the Tunus, so... Sure. Why not? Broken modem. Thank you very much. Mmm, an ED6? No thank you, I'll take an Echo Chamber though. That's just Sacred Heart? Okay, sure, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Chalky Milk? How does that even work with Neptunus? I don't know, but it just makes them even bigger, okay. Well, will this give me probably tier 8, right? Yep. Alright! Uh, things are looking pretty good in, uh, in Casa de... Casa de Isaac right now, I gotta say. Things are going mighty fine. Yeah, this run got an insane upgrade. Like, holy fuck. It was already alright before, right? It's not like it was bad, but... <laughs> it went somewhere, that's for sure. And uh, I, I was just yapping. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, getting a new keyboard because my brother decided he's uh, that's how he's gonna repay me for the work I will be, I'll be doing for him. Which is fair enough. I mean, it's interesting work too, in a way, right? I did just have a lecture that dealt with machine learning. Ironically, that's the one that I almost didn't pass, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> so getting to actually ap apply some of that knowledge right away. It's interesting. It's interesting in some ways. I didn't mean to pop that cherry card. I fat fingered the Q button. 
That's my bad. At least I've got time to go and... Okay, so... What are the odds that the same item shows up twice in the same run? After you gen That's actually insane. What the fuck? I could turn it into Epic Fetus, obviously, but I'm not doing that. That's insane? Holy fuck. Why did Polly show up again? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> what in the world? I mean, I'm not complaining. I don't even know what the hell is going on with this run right now, man. I got 44 damage. I got Absurd Tier Rate thanks to Neptunus. I got Homing as well. It Look, man. Sometimes you don't even have to try. Sometimes you do have to not play Isaac for like three weeks and uh, suddenly... Suddenly you just get good stuff. <laughs> Oh, makes you oh yeah, I got echo chamber. I should be I should not be taking pills. I don't think the angel's gonna drop anything. So um, well, I mean salvation is all right though. I'll just take that. What's the weather like? It's still hot as shit here. It's oh, hot as shit is a bit of an exaggeration. It's cooled down a little bit. It is technically autumn now, right? It's 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 fall. It's not summer anymore. In theory, that doesn't really mean much in practice, but theoretically, it's <laughs> it's, it's fall. So it's not as hot anymore, maybe. Oh yeah, and also, here's another piece of uh, knowledge I can drop. Uh, a piece of technology I've acquired, ironically, for my birthday. It was a birthday gift. I've taken up the habit of, you know, because I, I, for years now, I've always had this issue where whenever people would ask me, oh, what do you, like, do you have any wishes for, like, your birthday present or something like that, right? I'd always just be like, nah, I don't got nothing, right? I got no, no, it's not like I don't have any wishes. That's another magic mush that I could get. That's really funny. Obviously, there's no point, but it would have been really funny to do. So I would always be like, oh, just give me cash or something like that, right? But it does get boring. <laughs> it does get boring to uh, do all the time. So I decided to pick up the habit of putting shit on my Amazon wishlist. Where I'd like, oh, yeah, that'd be a, a, a an item that I wouldn't mind having. A, an item I wouldn't mind owning. Either to buy it myself at some point or, you know, for somebody to look at and then be like, oh, that's a good birthday present. That's what ended up happening, because I put, I was like, I have a set of headphones that I can use with my phone. Because, you know, it's a modern phone, it doesn't have a, an audio jack, it needs to be Bluetooth headphones. And they're great headphones, they're, they're Sennheisers. Uh, fucking, I don't know what they're called. HD 450 or something, Bluetooth headphones. They're, they're fine, right? They're, they're adequate, they're nice. Problem is, because they're over ears, which means they're comfortable for, in some ways, as well. Noise cancelling and all that stuff. But the problem is... They aren't the most comfortable thing to wear all day because, you know, they press on your ears for a while. But more importantly, they're not necessarily the most portable and convenient thing, right? Because they're over here, over your headphones. They're like pretty bulky and stuff. They're great for longer flights or train rides or something like that, however rarely I travel. But if you're just going out for a bit, they're a bit annoying. And I've been wanting to just have like a pair of earbuds again because I used to have this set of Bluetooth earbuds, a friend gifted me once, for free, literally, uh, because he got them for two dollars off of AliExpress. Which means they're not particularly good. They were alright! For what they were trying to do, which was being a Bluetooth earbud, so it's like a little earplug that you can just put in your ear and then you play music through it, they were fine for that. But they obviously broke very quickly, or uh, much rather the housing cracked. And they were also annoying to use because they have like the touch interface on the side so you know you would touch them all the time to like you know readjust them because they slipped out a little bit or something like that and then that would just lead to you accidentally pausing or activating your assistant or something like that it was annoying to use them right so i decided yeah i want a new pair so i put i i looked at, i saw some stuff saw reviews pop up and stuff like that and felt like you know what these look adequate i ended up getting the nothing ear A's, I think they're called. They're the yellow ones. Because they looked promising. Apparently they had good sound quality and they are, most importantly, for Bluetooth earbuds of high quality, an adequate price. And yet, well, you know, my mom got them for me for my birthday, so I have those now. They are very nice. They fit well, and most importantly, I will give I will give Apple this. As stupid everybody was making fun of Apple at first when they made the AirPods. That they have like the little stems at the bottom, right? That they look kind of weird. Everybody's got them now, but most importantly, it is the better design, IMO, for Bluetooth earbuds. Because if they're just a little plug, then you're much more likely to accidentally press on something. 
these with the stems they just put all the interfacing and stuff into the stems down below so you can just adjust at the top without accidentally pressing on anything in addition to that with these earbuds as well and that's why i've been liking them so much is that you actually have to press down like physically press onto the stems to do anything like pausing skipping etc quite with quite a, a, like a considerable amount of force that you wouldn't expect which means it's very unlikely that you ever accidentally do something with them and then obviously they come with all the other stuff that uh, earbuds have nowadays which is like you know noise cancellation and like equalizers and shit like that I get a d6 back that's funny <laughs> i'm gonna go for the parasite on that by the way uh okay curious so you know i've been i've been really enjoying them they've, they've been nice and most, most importantly it's just a convenient way for me to have some earbuds if i'm ever going out like i can just have those in my pocket and if i ever feel like just you know, not raw dogging it anymore. Like, I really got this desire. I, the, the, what spurred this on for me to really want to get a new earbuds was when I was at Gamescom. And, like, you're standing in crowd. Even if I'm with a couple of friends, you know, at some point, you kind of just, like, want to look at something on your phone. You might, like, you know, you're standing in the crowd for an hour. You've had, you've talked all day already. You've got nothing else to talk about with your bud. Like, he's already on his phone just, like, listening to music or something like that, right? And you're just, like, standing there raw dogging that shit. You can't even, like, watch a video on your phone. Not necessarily because you're trying to be considerate to other people, but literally because you can't. Like, you won't be able to hear anything. Right? You don't have headphones. And I was like, yeah, I need a new set of Bluetooth earbuds. So the fact that I now have one is just very nice. And these these have been good. I I can recommend them, having used them a little bit. <laughs> it, they, there's, they have everything I need earbuds to have, and they are very cheap for the build quality and the features you get. IMO. I, I am I am. Also, this is something I've been digging a lot lately, and I'm glad that more tech is bringing this back. I fuck with the transparent plastic design, dude. Transparent plastic that lets you see, like, the... Maybe a little bit of the interior of the electronics and stuff like that. It's sick, man. I love that shit. My mouse has had, like, I've had a mouse that's got, like, the slightly transparent plastic for a while. It's cool. Like, I don't look at my mouse much, but I like the way the transparent plastic looks. And I'm glad that, you know... Oh, that's a brimstone. I also forgot about uh, getting Parasite, but oh well. <laughs> that's brimstone. That's a second guppy item. Uh, sure, why wouldn't I get that? This is just damage, and this, I honestly, I think I should go for that Play-Doh cookie. That could be kind of funny. Oh, well, now I can get Play-Doh cookie from that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I've, been, I've been digging the, the transparent plastic aesthetic. I, I hope more tech brings that back again. I think it looks really cool. The, the see-through, see-through clear plastic and stuff on electronics. I liked it a lot. I've always liked it. Uh, obviously, it's like very 2000s code and that's the era I grew up in. That's partially probably where I carry a bit of nostalgia for it as well. But, you know, things, uh, style choices are always cyclical anyway in nature. They always return after a while. I mean, that's just how the world works, I guess. But it is, it is sick. I love it. I like the way they look. That's a monstro's lung. Sure, how much worse can my charge rate really get? Oh, good lord. The good thing is I don't have to charge that much to just fire. And things get kind of nasty once I do. <laughs> I can't quite tap fire. Oh my god. Okay, turn into something else, right? Because it's a trap chest. <laughs> right, forgot about that part. Dude, like it takes me forever to charge up a shot. But once it gets fired off... Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, does it ever just destroy anything in its path. I also really should get into the habit of pre-charging again when I enter rooms instead of, you know, teleporting around. That is a death certificate. Okay, you know damn well what I'm taking here, and you know damn well it's gonna be soy milk. Actually, it's gonna be rock bottom. I lied. It's gonna be rock bottom. <laughs> I've taken rock bottom. I was, I mean, soy milk would be fine too. The damage would probably still be nuts. And it would offset this insanely low fire rate I have. But I'm gonna go for the rock. The funny rock. Hello, funny rock. My beloved. And now I just gotta find a way to get my tier rate up. <laughs> Which is easier said than done. And I doubt it may I, I doubt it may even happen at some any point here, but hey. Another quad shot. <laughs> Oh, it's peak. It's peak, bro. Okay, I'll take that. Might as well take pointy rib. Might as well take common cold. Take another quad shot. Doesn't fuck your tier rate any further than it could. That's more chest, baby. 
There's conjoined. Mysterious liquid again. It's like the fourth time I've seen that item in a spin down list for some reason. Let's uh, annihilate the lamb. Yep, pretty much a one shot if uh, he stayed in the beam for longer, but that's fine. That's fully charged, this bad boy. I can barely even see the indicator, man. It's covered up by all my all my helpers and shit. You know the shit is gonna one shot, bro. Yep, one cycle easily. It's actually gonna be harder to deal with all these waves of enemies. Well, I don't know where the hell those extra tears are coming from. That are just shot out occasionally. I don't know what's going on with those. I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm not complaining. It's something is happening. We're killing. That's what's happening. We're killing. While we're waiting for this phase transition, I might as well charge up my full might. Oh, not quite a one shot, huh? Oh, it's kind of lethargic at this point, huh? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Still pretty good, though. And I get to do a void as well. Here we go. Um, see you in 10 minutes when I find Delirium, because that's all I'm gonna do here, is find Delirium. Hey, there he is. The man of the hour. Oh boy, he's getting melted. That was one shot. It wasn't even, like, fully charged or anything. Oh, I don't know where all those shots suddenly came from. I don't know what happened there. But I'm not complaining, because it absolutely shredded. <laughs> I kind of don't know what's happening with this run. It honestly was kind of crazy. But hey, there you go. A little update run, you know, to get to, to let you know what's going on with my life, where I've been, what I've been up to, and what I'll be up to in the future. That's it for this run, though, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself in so far. When will I see you again? I don't know. Uh, what will it be? I don't know. But it will be something. Sometime. Eventually. Maybe I'll stream again this week. I, I might find some time for that. Yeah. Could be fun, right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, for now, see ya. Have a good one. Bye.